It's the six oldest survivor. That's too fast. I need to slow it down a bit. <laughs> uh, is it recording? Hello, and welcome to SJ TV One, and that's kind of interesting. Today, I'm visiting the Oswington White Horse in the English county of Dorset, located about three miles northeast of Weymouth. It's the sixth oldest surviving hill figure in the UK and has a unique feature that none of the others have. I'll give more details shortly, but first, let's have a look at the horse and the surrounding area. This prominent scheduled monument is 85 metres long and 98 metres high and was cut into the south facing Osmington Hill above the village of Osmington in 1808. It is only one of four horsey hill figures facing to the right and is unique for being the only one that's being ridden. The horse is in a standing position. It has one front leg raised, two pointy ears and a huge tail. There's a hint of a saddle on the horse's back and stirrups can be seen under the horse's belly. The rider is sitting upright and is wearing a hat, most likely a tricorn hat. In one hand he's holding the horse's reins and in the other there appears to be a sword or baton. The question is, who is he? Well it's King George III and he's on his favourite Hanovian cream charger Adonis. In this painting by Sir William Beechley we can see King George and Adonis more clearly. In common with the hill carving, the horse has one leg raised and some think it could be one of a couple of paintings the Osmington horse is based on. In another painting by the same artist, we can see more clearly what uniform the chalk King George may be wearing. The hat is a definite match. But why were the king and the horse carved into the hill? Well, the king often visited Weymouth and his notoriety helped turn Weymouth into a popular resort and the hill figure was cut to commemorate the royal visits. There's a local legend that claims the king was offended by the carving because it shows him riding away from Weymouth rather than towards it. It's a good yarn, but not true, as due to poor health, the king never actually saw the hill carving in person. The horse is regularly scoured to get rid of weeds, and in 1989 it featured in the television programme Challenge Annika, where the host Annika Rice was challenged to organise a team to restore the horse. How well this restoration took place in the fast-paced nature of a television show is up for debate, but they seem to have followed best practice at the time, but over subsequent years the methods have been discredited. By 2009 the horse was beginning to look pretty shabby, and with the sailing events of the 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games being held in Weymouth Bay, the Osmington White Horse Restoration Group was formed in order to restore the horse to pristine condition in time for the Games. Detailed land surveys took place, and archive pictures of the horse were studied to try and establish how the horse would have looked back in 1808. Finally, a template of the horse and rider was agreed upon, and works commenced to restore the horse with the help of hundreds of volunteers. The finished restoration work was given a modern day royal seal of approval when King George's great 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 granddaughter, Princess Anne, flew in to officially unveil it. The Osmington White Horse is one of two hill figures that can be found in Dorset. The other is the cheeky nudist Sir Nabis Giant and we'll be seeing him in all his glory in a future video. The Osmington Horse is open all year round and is free to visit. There are no roads to the top of the hill so you'll have to park as close as you can and walk the rest of the way. For the casual viewer the horse can be best seen from a viewing point on the A353. To find it on your sat-nav, type Osmington White Horse Viewing Point. That about wraps it up for this video on the Osmington White Horse. 
It's been really nice coming here today to see King George and Adonis. The sat-nav details are in the description below where you'll also find links to some of the sites I use for information. If you've any views on today's video please leave a message in the comments section below and if you like these sorts of videos please subscribe to SNJ TV One and ring that bell so you'll be notified when we release future videos. In the meantime thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Dun, 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 dun,